Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a look at yet another 5K monitor. This right here is the Innocent 40C1U, a 40 inch 5K monitor. And from the first impressions, it looks like very impressive. It's not curved nor it's flashy, but it's a powerhouse for productivity and creative work and it can even do some casual gaming. So let's dive into this because this might be the best value ultrawide monitor in the market right now. Right out of the box, the build quality surprised me. The design is super clean with slim bezels on all sides. It's got matte black finish, a metal stand that doesn't feel cheap or wobbly. It's fully adjustable with height, tilt and swivel support. So even if you want monitor arms, you'll be happy to know that you can use VESA certified mounts for this or monitor arms and then this works beautifully with that. And here's something I do appreciate. It's a flat panel, not a curved display. I know that curved has its fans, but photo and video editing on a flat panel is the way to go. There's no distortion, no visual warping on the edges. It's just clean edge to edge viewing. Just comparing this to my 45 inch uh, LG 5K 2K monitor, even though this is 40 inches, my LG Ultrawide is 45 inches, they feel and look about the same in size. Whereas on my Ultrawide LG monitor, the curvature really gives me gaming immersion. Whereas on this monitor, I can do better video editing, better browsing, because it's all edge to edge display. The screen resolution is 5K at 5120 by 2160 pixels. And it's incredibly sharp, like razor sharp. Whether you're working on text, images, or code, or even doing spreadsheet work, everything looks very sharp with tons of real estate. Now this offers a 21 by nine aspect ratio, which truly feels like having triple monitor set up all in one display, minus the bezels or any distortions that are happening. Now, color-wise, it's seriously impressive. The colors are quite vibrant and text is really sharp. There's no tweaking needed at all out of the box. Now, the panel itself is IPS, so you do get wide viewing angles and consistent colors across the screen. No weird color shifts when you're moving your head around like you would see on some ultra-wide monitors. The brightness on this monitor tops at 350 nits, which is solid for indoor work. You're not going to have any visibility issues in a well-lit room like mine is during the day. The contrast ratio is 1200 to 1, which gives you a deep blacks and decent dynamic range. It also supports HDR, though I'll say that this is not an OLED monitor or a mini LED, so you don't expect that level of HDR. It does enhance the content, but don't expect a true HDR10 experience. Still, for media consumption, it's a nice touch, but personally, I just leave that off. Now, here's the part that surprised me. This 5K monitor, even though it's budget, it does support 100 Hz refresh rate at full 5K resolution. For productivity-focused displays, that's awesome. The scrolling feels smooth, the animations are snappier, and it even opens some doors for some casual or, you know, good video gaming. I can easily play Counter-Strike without any issues or even do some casual racing on this monitor without any issues. Now, I mainly tested this with my Mac Mini, the M4 Mac Mini, and my MacBook Pro. And I also did some testing with my gaming monitor and everything scales very nicely. There are no connectivity issues and everything just works after plugging it in. Now, connectivity is where this thing shines. You get two HDMI 2.1 ports, one Display Port 1.4, which is sort of outdated, I think, one USB-C 3.1 with 65 watts of power delivery. And that's what I've been using for my Mac Mini to connect to the monitor, and even my uh, MacBook Pro to connect to the monitor, and it works very seamlessly well. You also get two USB 3.0 ports for downstream support, and you get one USB-B for upstream support. But in my use case, that USB-C port is a game changer. If you're using a laptop, that one cable gives you video, data, and power when you plug that in. You're instantly connected without having to, you know, figure out all these other cables. It's perfect for work from home setups where all you got to do is just plug in one cable to your laptop and boom, you're all set and ready to go. And yes, 
You can absolutely hook this up to your console, like Steam Deck, Switch, or PlayStation. And since it's got HDMI 2.1, it will handle that with no problem. Now, one thing I would like to mention is that this does not come with an HDMI cable. It only comes with DisplayPort cable and the USB-C cable. So if you are gonna use this with HDMI, remember to buy the ultra high quality 8K HDMI cables. I learned the hard way. I connected it to one of my old, you know, HDMI older version cables and the screen started flickering a lot. And then luckily I had a 8K HDMI cable available. So once I plugged that in, all my issues were resolved. So do keep that in mind if you are gonna use this with HDMI to buy a separate 8K VESA certified HDMI cable. Now the games that I tested with this monitor were Counter-Strike 2, The Last of Us, and Assetto Corsa for racing, and everything worked nicely without any issues. It also comes with the built-in stereo speakers. They're not going to blow you away. They're not that terrible either, but obviously they're fine for, you know, YouTube video calls or background music. You're still gonna want external speakers or headphones if you'd wanna do some serious audio work. There's also blue light reduction and flicker-free tech, which can be used for long work sessions or video editing sessions. Now let's talk about the real world use case. I have been using this as my editing monitor for about a week now, and I've been using this with DaVinci Resolve and even doing some Lightroom and even recording stuff with OBS. And the extra width does make a huge difference. I feel no difference when I'm working on my LG 5K 2K monitor versus this because I am getting that full 5120 by 2160 aspect ratio. You can see the entire timeline without scrubbing from side to side and multitasking is a lot easier on such an ultra wide resolution. Now here's where this monitor kind of breaks the market I think. It's priced around $749 which is less than the competitors like Dell Ultra Sharp or the LG's 5K ultrawide offerings. You're getting true 5K with this, factory calibrated colors, USB-C that powers your laptop or your device, flat panel design, 100 hertz refresh rate, and all this for literally half the price. And this isn't really a budget build either. The panel, the build quality, and the overall features are seriously premium. So who is this really for? If you're a creator or a content creator, a video editor, a programmer, or a power user, then this monitor is truly for you. If you're getting screen real estate, color accuracy, and modern features without blowing 1500 plus on a brand name. I think Innocent really nailed the balance between performance and price here. Overall, it's very decently spec'd. Well, that's going to wrap this up for this review. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll be checking them. And if you're interested in grabbing one, I'll leave the link in the description below as well. It helps out the channel. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and I'll be seeing you in my next one, which is definitely gonna be about home labbing. So see you then.